computer or record whatever it's fine as long as i as long as i can get which is great i know but maybe i can anyway so wait this is what i was gonna say so hold on okay we're in photoshop so i'm just gonna take and you know you can do this on the computer too because you could photoshop skills but like you know you can basically paint i like to paint on the computer so i mean i would put the horizon line like you know somewhere around here hold on yeah yeah exactly so when i say blue that means i'm gonna that's gonna be the horizon line blue and then going up but wait look how nice like this is even when like, mm -hmm. like let's just do, look this is semi like look how nice this is even when this starts to sort of go right yeah it yeah. just goes a little bit whatever and look now the skirt pops off like look at that and the skirt is so beautifully transparent when you make this other layer opaque i mean so really really what you're doing with these encaustics is you're kind of like hunting and gathering and collecting your stuff and then you're kind of like you know pushing and pulling by using layers of opacity mm -hmm. you know to kind of allow things to be like seen or unseen or go forward move like literally it, it's so funny because it's like it's a two-dimensional space but it's literally like you're moving it forward or backwards by mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. color or tone that you make it right mm -hmm. so like so the if, if it's darker it's going backwards and if it's bright it's coming forward mm -hmm. okay well like yeah and here because it's darker too like when you put the dark around here, what did that do to her skirt? It made it pop, yeah, pop, and mm -hmm. it made it other. So now the darkness is kind of representing ground, and then the skirt is representing transparent, you know, semi-transparent mm -hmm. fabric, right? Mm -hmm. And the sky is just a totally different. It's just like a totally different element completely because it has it because it speaks to sort of our I think it's like almost like a primal thing where we understand about horizon lines just from mm -hmm. our life experience like we're educated you know we're brain brain mm -hmm. brain people so it's like we're visually a, we're visually attuned to certain language or symbols that tell us this is like oh a woman in a landscape right so just by creating that sort of edge and it could be any color like you didn't have to do that color what other color look we can take it if we wanted to do a different color, I mean, we could just take it back. I'm just gonna take it back. I would. What say, other color could we have done? Well, I would say um, could have done change. green, right? Yeah, green, blue for the sky, green below. But okay, well, let's try this in green. I mean, I just picked like a gray just to show yeah, it. To show the dark. Okay. But let me see if a green. Let me try a green. It's interesting too. Like so, here it is less. Right. And if it was less, what we just would have scraped. I mean, again, mm -hmm. like there's that sort of no fear here because if you added, you know, semi transparent wax over it, but it was too thick, then you would have just fused it and scraped it back and had, mm -hmm. had it look more like this. Right. Yeah. So wait, let's try a green. So let's try like a, like a green. And then remember too, with Photoshop here, like I'm just controlling the brush, the opac, like this opacity is at 62. Mm -hmm. So I can go lower, right? Which will make it even lighter, more, right? Mm -hmm. So here's the green. Do you like the green better? Yeah. And I, I green I find is hard to work with because there's so many green. Oh yeah, there's so many green. I know you have to be very selective. So I only like, yes, I only like sap green and um wait, green what? gold <laughs> wait say it again what green? i like sap green and in caustic paint there's only i think there's only two good green sap green i like and gold green and green gold huh yeah I, I don't have either of those <laughs> okay yeah All they're right. the best they're both beautiful beautiful paint colors okay great really That's nice great. yeah and you so I also just FYI, there's a little bit of a, a line of um, transparent pigment sticks. So green gold is in that family. Okay. Um, ultramarine blue is in that family. 
And then there's an orange that's really beautiful. I think it's like quad something orange. Is that RNF or it's- Yeah, another? they're the RNF pigment sticks and they're all, um, okay. they're transparent pigment sticks. Like they don't, they don't, they might sell them. They, I think RNF even sells a five pack of what they call transparent <laughs> sticks. So it's, they're kind they're, used for exactly like this purpose mm -hmm. where you want a very light layer of color so that you can still see the detail underneath but you want it to yeah. look I've been really drawn to you know for for a long time I was I've been putting on you know really dense opaque color and now I'm really drawn to the transparent you know well, so you do see right yeah. but that could be that that was I think that was just like I do that too. I do the same thing. I go through periods where I'm like obsessed with a technique or a part of mm -hmm. encaustic painting. And then I just practice that, but then it comes back around. Mm -hmm. Like I switch mm -hmm. up and I go, oh, I, I'm going to try this now. Okay. But then you kind of figure out how to combine the two things. Do you know right. what I mean? Right. Yeah, yeah. I see a lot of these is, you know, this is the testing. These are test pieces. Yeah. Although this one I really like, if I could work that up, so I liked it, I'd be very happy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think any type of transparent layer here, and then you can choose, like, again, like if you do this transparent layer with wax, it's a little bit riskier, right? It's a, it's- uh, I think I'll do it with a pigment stick, yeah. Okay, but you could do a little bit of both. You could do another layer of just encaustic medium, which would give you, Mm -hmm. um, more a little bit of transparent opacity and then you could do a color and then you can decide too do you want that layer I don't know sometimes when I look at people's work online the one thing that I miss is I don't can't tell so well from here what the textures looks like right like what the right, surface right. looks like mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is fine because but if you have questions about that I mean I'm happy to answer them it's just harder for me to tell sure what the surface looks like well, and some of the ones coming up, I, I feel like the surface isn't right, but we can talk about that. Okay. Um, I, I do have another question on this yeah, one. Um, sure. You know, the baby gets kind of lost there. You know, there's a little baby doll uh -huh. by her elbow down yeah. there. Yeah. And I was thinking either of, oh, I got the printer. So I've been playing oh, with great. tissue because I just want to do black and white, you know, not. I love how you've printed my things and there's yeah. so many times I want that, but sometimes I just want something, just one little part or. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah, it's great, good. So um, anyway, one thing I was thinking of doing was blowing up the baby. So, I mean, the head is just too small. It's just a doll. So right. blowing up the baby more and putting it on as um, a tissue, you know, covering that part underneath, but bringing the baby in as a tissue baby. <laughs> <laughs> um so I don't know how how do you think that would work um I, I would try it I found that the tissue paper it, it almost makes it like kind of like what you were just working on with the motion when you add when you have a solid image and you add a copy of that image on top I feel like it looks like it's moving Oh. Do you remember like when you first started learning about imagery and you were like, you, did you ever see like an installation about like reverberation, like when, or even like a motion, like when you slow down the motion, I, I personally found that hmm. if the image is solo in tissue paper on white, it looks very good. If the image goes on top of the same image, it looks like they're because you're never going to be able to line them up exactly and they're not on the same level and there's wax in between them so they're going to look like they're moving which could be good for the baby it will bring attention to it but um that's interesting well the other you can try it try it if i had thought of it before i would have put it on the original image mm -hmm. you know maybe even in photoshop and then you know it would have been a bigger head but Actually, I kind of like the idea of a floating baby. The other thing is I have uh -huh. of floating fetuses, which sounds terrible, but um, 
So <laughs> why does that sound terrible? <laughs> well, no, no, no. I mean, actually, it was you know, I took the pictures in a museum, and I wasn't supposed to. But I just thought, oh my gosh. This ah. is so was well, it like a was it like a science museum? Yeah, I mean, these were the real fetus. Was, but anyway, I just thought, oh, God, that would be so cool in a picture. Yeah. Um, but I don't want it to be gothic. Um, I probably wouldn't go that far. But I, but just no, I think your work. I mean, if people understand your work is about is about one you know, femininity and experiencing like, you know, you know, being a woman. I mean, it's, it makes sense since part of being a woman is fertility. I mean, it's just part yeah, of our process. Yeah, yeah. So, um, hmm. yeah, the other thing that you can do with the baby is instead of even a transparent layer of the baby on tissue, you can just print the baby again and you can embed it closer to the surface. So that it's okay. like solid. Yeah, that would give it. Yeah, that would give it the most. That would give it the strongest representation because it wouldn't be like a shadow. That it's a you shadow. get like a shadow effect with the tissue paper. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know where they're lying on top of each other and sort of. So I could embed it if I if I had it on like rice paper or something a thin, uh, but real. Um, photographic paper okay. yeah okay that's a good well yeah I appreciate talking yeah, like about the, the, or even copy paper I mean even like just copy paper just okay. regular yeah not not the hard hard yeah paper. it doesn't have to be super thick I mean mm -hmm. there's there's pros and cons to translucent papers is all I'm trying to forewarn you mm -hmm. and like not in not good or bad there's just pros or cons so you have to decide you have to try it and see if you like the look it gave you I love the look but I do feel like it doesn't it looks like a go it the tissue paper evokes like a spirit the spirit ghost you know like an apparition or something that's like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. not solid whereas the solid paper does exactly what it you know it looks solid okay that's... so just but try it I mean well and I'll see how it works in the narrative so. yeah and it, yeah exactly and if you don't like it I mean we can take it off yeah. Okay. It's yeah. Not, it won't be hard to get it off. Okay. So that's this one. I, I love this. I keep coming back to it. So I, you know, I really do want to work it. Yeah. Uh, well, let's go on to the next one. See yeah. And then this guy, oh, I was going to say yeah. one more thing. So this, mm -hmm. I would either like, I would oh, yeah. blend these two layers together. So either, you know, taking like that light blue and bring it down. Um, yeah. You can take the light blue over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, over that, right? Yeah. I really enjoy tearing the paper up like that. You know, I, I know. Oh, I like, 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 look how cool that looks. Yeah. Then it looks almost like a cloud. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. That's just that same color. And I love like any of the light blue colors or the wax. I love, you know. Yeah. Okay. Great. Got it. Do you want me to save this file? I can uh, No, it. I just took a, a screen grab of it. And I'll have the the movie too, so I'm fine. Okay, all right, cool. Yeah, I like this piece. I feel like this composition is really nice too, Pam. I love it. I like it when I turned it. I I don't know. It just got messed up. Yeah, no, it just really yeah. worked. Oh, I love oh. this. I you know I love this one. Oh my gosh! I, I, mean, I look at it. And say, okay, Pam, you've got to keep working it, and I'm not there. Whatever. Wait, what? You're like what? Well, you you just go ahead. No, oh, I love it. I mean, I I love. I love that terracotta, like this color. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. so and the blue. Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah, I mean, I don't I, I think it's close. You know what I would just do to it now is I would just get the graphite gray. I did. And I it was I made it too dark over the dark ones because I was because you had said that the last time. So I so I had to actually pull it back. Um because oh. I should have probably added a little bit of white to it because it well wait let me down let me show you okay no I don't I think it well I see this is what happens with encaustic and I think this is really challenging to I personally struggle with this myself is that um the lights and darks it's it's just really hard to get them right so okay wait hold on because you're dealing with that, because so what I'm trying to say is that light blue is so strong. I don't like it. Yeah, I. No, I, I don't mind. No, I don't mind. I like this color. 
really uh, yeah just... it's but it it's it's acting as both it's acting as like the brightest area and mm -hmm. it's also in a way acting as like the heaviest area mm -hmm. so it's doing a lot of work but mm -hmm. what what it needs to do it's is it can do that but you have to get the other things around it to cooperate with it so oh, what okay. i'm saying is like i'm just gonna say take this gray as graphite gray but i think you need to add graphite gray like here oh oh okay tone that down Please. yeah because that's gonna create a contrast between this and this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and let that blue do i like i mean i like what you did with the blue i mean huh. I think it's very painterly. It's very like earthy. It's, it's, you know, like, it's like matte. I, that's fine, but make this a little bit gray. Now don't take away the orange, but put the little bit of the graphite gray on it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not like I did because I made like a blanket coat, but you would yeah. make like a, it would go around that space. Yeah. Right. And then a little bit of gray over here is so that these two areas look like the shadows of these planets, right? Mm -hmm. And then here's the highlight of this planet. Here's your background. And then I think this planet needs a highlight. And then I think you're done. I mean, just let it be what it is. You know what I mean? Well, I'm just, I, I, I missed that last one. Uh, which planet needs a highlight? This yellow one. See, look. Oh, what, I see. Okay. So this looks, see what happens when this goes later? Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. So that goes later, right? Mm -hmm. This stays. This stays light, or it could even go. You were talking about, you know, this could go a little bit later. Mm -hmm. You know, you could add whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like cool. this can be right. So oh, now, yeah. now, what do you think? Wow, yeah, I like it a lot better. It's um, this is what you're talking about—the push pull. Like you, yeah, you know, some parts and, go dark or some parts come up. Full yeah, and you know what, I, Pam? I mean, just to be honest with you, I mean. I try to be very accepting with myself as the paint because I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I've been doing this my whole life, but I'm still would never put the hat on and say, I'm a painter, right? I, I, I enjoy painting my photos and I enjoy mm -hmm. encaustics, but I would never like declare myself a painter. So a lot of the times I feel like I probably make like naive or inexperienced like painter mistakes but mm -hmm. I also try to embrace them and just be like that's my style mm -hmm. that's what I do you know what I mean so I think that this is is you you it's where it's it's authentic to you it's it, you you know you're the creator and I think it's actually really beautiful I think if you do a couple of those little things I okay. think you're just going to get that all the compositional elements and the colors that you chose to work better together yeah yeah i wasn't the color palette doesn't you know to me that blue doesn't work with the orange but but you say just work with it you know just yeah well what other color would it be i mean you no 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 it could be but not such a bright blue it's just you know as i see it it's just like it, it takes so it so different. the other thing you could do is that ultramarine transparent oh. blue. Mm -hmm. And I may have that. I'm going to check. So look, let's see what happens if we make this. I'm just, if we make this a little bit more blue. Oh, yeah. That helps. I think that helps. Okay. Yeah. So we tone this part down and leave this part light. Yeah. I wouldn't do the same treatment to both. So that makes sense. So it's almost like you have the dark, like you have a, you know, like the, the dark and the light. I think that's beautiful. Wow. What do you well, think? Yeah, I mean, I, the way the, what, what you've done with it makes it work. And that, but that's one reason I wanted to show it to you because I, I feel like I'm stuck here. Where do I go? And you're. Yeah, it just needed that little, it just needed the light. And so again, and now the important thing mm -hmm. to remember is what techniques to use to do it, right? So if we went backwards from what I just did, like for this yellow one, I would just add a lighter yellow, like a yellowy white pigment stick probably, mm -hmm. right? You're not gonna scrape is what I'm trying to tell you. Right, right. So you're gonna take what you have. Mm -hmm. That's what I was trying to think. I This is what I was trying to say in the point that I made earlier about the painting is I feel like the encaustic painting 
is very intuitive and impulsive and you have to believe in yourself in that moment. Whatever decisions you made with the paint, like mm -hmm. you have time to sort of reorganize it and finish it up perfect. You know what I mean? Hmm. Okay. It's harder to do it with the wax. It's easier to do it. Just right. do the wax, whatever you do, and then mm -hmm. kind of like sort it out later. So, <laughs> right. so, and the ways that I sort it out are scraping, yeah. painting over, right? Yeah. At, right fusing or pigment sticks right mm -hmm. so the pigment sticks are going to be perfect for you here where you can just add a nice like whitish orangey mm -hmm. little bit up here you can add a little bit of light yellow here and you can put a transparent blue there and i think you're good and and the uh, graphite gray on that um... oh and a little bit on the graphite gray here yeah so because you want the light to be coming you know, like directionally from this upper corner across is where the light yeah. is. Mm -hmm. Does that great. make sense? Yep. Great. Thank you. Perfect. Sorry, my printer sucks. Um, it's just too noisy. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm always so thankful that my printer still bleeds. It still works. All right, let's do the next one. Next one? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. I can't remember what, it, what the next one is now. All right, here we go. Oh, I actually really like this one. I do. I really like this one. It, yeah, it's weird. I just had these little. No, I love it. Little, the little, uh, the two little tree spirits, tiny, mm -hmm. that you printed up. I, I just, and then I thought, what am I going to do with it? So anyway, it's been a learning. It's been definitely a journey. I, I like this one. I like it. I, I like it. I like it. Like I like. I like your. I like the way you use encaustic in those solid, it ways. I, the thick encaustic paint. I I like. It. All right. Okay. This one. Okay. I love this. I keep reworking, and I finally got where I wanted. And then I got the dumb idea. Oh, I think. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll um, incise the, the flower in the uh -huh. middle, and I'll incise out the some of the notes. Okay. okay. But yeah. first of all, my mistake was that this had been sitting there for about a month, six weeks. So right. it was hard and I didn't warm it up. So, you know, the lines were crackly. I mean, it just, you know, and, and the notes are crackly. Right. I didn't like it. So, so I, uh, I'm going to throw this in because I, I really do like it. Um, okay. Is that how do I fix the flower and the notes? And I said, well, okay, Pam, how would you fix them? Mm -hmm. I guess I would um, soften the wax, scrape back, you know, you know, the flower, you know, maybe back to the original um, photo. No, I don't. I think you can just go over it. I, th I think. Oh. I, I try. Uh -huh. oh, oh, you mean put just wax medium on top? I think you can just go over it. I think that, yeah, let's see. Yeah, you could just put in caustic wax medium. I mean, my initial reaction to this, and you can whatever, agree or disagree, yeah. is I want to rotate it. I think I've talked about this before. I think we, wait, I want to go this way then. I, I still like it like this. Oh I my god! I said that. I think I said. Didn't I say that? But uh, it's fine. I don't remember that. But yeah, okay. I love it like this. Okay, and then what I would do is I would just um, this color green, whatever. I love this tealy green. I do too. Yeah. So pretty, like this one. Yeah. I mean, I would just paint right over this. I mean, let's. Because I did paint over it once, but now I'll just do it again. Okay. Wait, hang on. Here I go. Let's see. I mean, I would just go over. I would just go over it and then just let it be there. I mean, whatever. So it the wax will just fill in those holes. Let yeah. it be there. It might look cool. I mean, honestly, that might be a new thing for you where you incise and cover up. I mean, I don't know. Like, I like it. I think it's fine. I mean, you have this nice sharp line over here in this collage element, and then you have this like strong ribbony thing going on. Yeah. Yeah. I would prob I would love to see you um 
make one more dark green do you see okay to me like I like things that are like metamorphosing into something yeah. else so to okay. me it's like that plant is turning into the music notes and then it's extending itself oh, yeah. into oh, a yeah. ribbon right so that's why the notes are perfect because it goes from here to here to there but I, maybe I'd love maybe this note goes a little bit onto her arm and then you've got these little baby leaves right here which are also the same shape oh, as the the green. okay I mean that's just it's it's happening sort of you don't have to oh, over I never would have seen that because I I had a note I love it on this I one it. I had a note that you had said the notes stand up out too much just bring them down you know and I did that after I did this whole green note thing. But the reason I, that I think the notes are working so well yeah, here is that they're mirroring. I, I totally get it. They're oh, mirroring the shape of this plant. Uh -huh. yeah, especially this note right here looks like it's just part of this plant. And then this oh, one right here yeah. looks like it came off the plant. So it's just literally like a little like crescent moon shape. Why is this I'm, so it's what you're really doing? beautiful. Wait, let's see. It's like probably this color. Hold on. Let me see. What does it look like? You know, I guess. The, what do you call it? The thalto green? That the deep, thalo, yeah. Thalo green, the I mean, that's too thick. That's like too, but do you see like that? Yeah. Shape? yeah. It's right. like that one's there. And then you got them here. Uh -huh. You got one here. I mean, these, I'm not going to leave these on. But do you see how they're kind and of like. And maybe even this one here. The bottom of the flower. The, just the, um, I'm just doing this for you know, for, yeah, right, right, right. but they're too thick. This is not the right tool, but I do think you could accentuate the one closer to this flower. Uh-huh. Okay. And then maybe that one and that's it. And don't do more than that, but something like that. I think it's perfect. I love it. Wow. Yeah. Really. Uh, nice. So the other I thing would do one other thing though, too, Pam, yeah. don't forget when you do, when you do the lace dresses, right. And you mm -hmm. get the texture, remember the highlights and shadows. Okay. So like this is your highlight area, but mm -hmm. don't, and you use the wax all in the same value, which is fine, but I'd love to see you take a little bit of, of um, oh, okay. graphite gray and just tone the dress. Okay, because I did tone it, yeah, just where you're going now down at the bottom, but it, there's so much texture, yeah. Just to so on your finger, out. just like that, just so that it doesn't look like it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that this is too, like, my opacity is like way too up, but you know what I'm saying? Like, just yeah. a little bit so that it looks like it actually has folds, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And it goes in and out, and it's not just a big bullet. Now it looks like a thing, like a real thing. Because I was, I was just trying to put the graphic gray just at the, um, that bottom area, and it didn't really work out well. But no, I, I see what you're doing. Yeah, I like it. Oh, that's cool. No, I love it. I mean, you can decide on the orientation. Like, here, we can put her back. Let's see if what we. Well, I like the way she's lying. This one. I love it. I actually beautiful. love this piece. I mean, no, I really love it. And you know what else I like about it? And again, this goes back to the painting before. Is that it's like your style? I like, like I like some of the imperfect. Like I like the way her. I told you that I love the way her hair is cut out. Like I love that. Oh, I, I like the way. I was thinking I should put black to extend her, you know, to get over the you could, you could, but don't draw any lines. Like yeah. you, could, you could use black and, but no, I love it. I love it. No, I really love this piece. It's great. Let me save this one too. This was a piece that was, uh, it, it was a, um, it was, I was going to do a flower study and it looked horrible. So I said, oh crap. So I just ah. put back all the wax and all that stuff. And I just had the flower underneath. So those are the black and white flowers that are under. And then I just started collaging. So yeah. And I mean, look, I mean, I didn't do that much, you know, this to that, like they're not that different, you know, but I love how you, Oh wait, that's not, that's just that, that, that green, that di green um, diagonal, that dark, because I never thought of the plan and the notes all working it. This is the one I did. This is yours, right? So yeah. you see, it was so subtle. Like I just softened and sizing by putting that same color. Sometimes mm -hmm. you can just veil if you're if you have a color nearby. Yeah. You can put a little bit of that color over top of something else that's bothering you, and you can just like kind of tone it down. 
Okay. It's like blending it into the background, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, thank you. That's, that's uh, again, yeah, I love, I like that. It's been that. A, a journey, you know, tearing it apart and then pulling it through. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, it looks good. I like it. Thank you. All right, hold on. This is the plane. So I think the next ones, I'm working with the tissue paper. I was trying out different tissue things. Okay. And this is with the painting with fire. Um, oh, that. this one? Yeah, well, she does. Yeah, these three, but so this one, um, I did the jelly plate thing. <laughs> and I just made, you know, I have like all this tissue paper with different jelly plate things. So this is two jelly plate, what do you call it? Monotones, is that what you call it? Monotones. And, and so one, you know, one's embedded in wax and I put the next one in the next layer and embedded in wax. And then with this, that I did the incising. That's what gave me the idea on, on the last one with that flower. I thought, oh, I like this incising. Mm -hmm. So this is just a test thing, you know, just to find out what, how this works and how the yeah. wax comes up through the tissue paper. Yeah. Well, it's just, um, so it, it's just playing around. This was cool. yeah, yeah, because you had told me that you would show me jelly a long time ago, and I said, "Oh no, 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 I'm not ready for that." And then after I saw the painting with fire, I said, "Okay, well, let me just fool around with it." <laughs> yeah, I love the jelly plates. It's a, it's just, it's so fun, um, and they're great collage elements. They're great elements to add into your wax. Paint. That's what I really want to get more. Um, yeah, I think for a while I was being very literal. I really want to get more complex with the colors and the, yeah, and this is- You have such a good eye for color. You really like those blues and the oranges and the magenta. You have a really good eye for color. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes it just makes, uh, anyway. Let's go no, to that. For real. Uh, no. so the next So, one. okay, my only criticism about this, and I'm just going to throw this out there as a criticism, just to challenge you. Yes. But I feel like you want, to be abstract, but you also want to reference reality. Mm -hmm. And I think the only thing that I would have done differently for, I wouldn't have put dark at the top and the bottom. Oh, okay. Actually, it's it's a whole, no, wait a whole second. Stuff, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Wait, no, wait, hold on though. Let's rotate it. Okay, so to me, to me, wait, which way did I, wait, I don't want to do that. Wait, what did I do? 90. I want to, yeah, I want to do, well, you like it 90. Let's go. Wait, clockwise or counter counterclockwise? This way? Kind of, yeah, that's it. That's the way it really should be. Okay. Oh, okay. So that makes more sense. But still, like, okay, so I'm gonna challenge you again. So again, like right the dark here, mm -hmm. I would have made it light. Because why? Right. So the and so again, like mm -hmm. to me, like the darkness is could be coming around I guess for you it's coming around and that's fine I like the darkness here and maybe the light behind it as if mm -hmm. because I love that backlighting glowy backlighting mm -hmm. light. yeah I see what you're saying yeah and I like I love this color palette of these like lemony and I feel like there's enough darkness here I, I, it doesn't need more. I, I think what part of this is, uh, I've never really thought of using the graphite gray or the dark blue, um, you know, as just, it's not not a color, just the gray. And just, so I started playing with that. And I, I yeah. know. So I, I, you I, can I, mix them together too. I mean, you can make blue gray, you can make green gray. I mean, you know, you can even use, like you could have even used, you don't always have to use like a gray for darkness too. You could use yeah. a dark red to make something darker. You could mm -hmm. use dark green. But this was this was kind of a novel for me. Just just try and do the gray. You know, there's just, another good green too, a pigment stick. Um, Turkish green umber, uh, Turkish green. I think yeah. it might be Turkish green umber or Tur Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, okay. I'm writing these down. Yeah, the green, sap green, green gold, Turkish green, umber, okay. think, or something. I keep thinking I should be able to mix my own colors, and I said, oh, I'll never be able to get there. <laughs> so, oh, you can, you can, you can mix all of the colors. Too. I mean, any of the colors. All right, let's. So, you want to look at the? Wait, let's look at the next. Let's, yeah, let's look at the next one because. Okay. This, so these are, 
studies with tissue paper. So this oh, wow. one, wait, and there's more than one. Okay. Yeah. I like, wait, let's go with this one. All right. Let's okay. See. So this is just a background. I, it was a picture of a pool I took in Brazil and I actually printed a, a little color thing. I was just going to do black and white, but I just did color and I painted pigment sticks. I just kind of used the, my picture to show me, you know, where the blues and the golds were or whatever. And then I put the, this, and with Photoshop, I extended her skirt because I think the picture was really only, you know, like three quarters of the skirt. So I just at, gave her more. So then I, so that was my practice in working with tissue. And one thing I really found is I think next time I would print um, much higher contrast. Okay. And then the other thing is I don't like, yeah, yeah, I like what you're doing. I think well, I, would, I just started to think like just you could just paint like literally paint her paint her but paint her to be a solid so she's you know what I mean like you so, could, so you don't see just uh, where her skin is you don't yeah. see bluish I mean blue. that that just made her like oh I like that yeah because that's I, what that bothered me a lot you know that yeah. she's blue green so one the other way instead of painting her would be to um have that area not not the background painting it, you know have some kind of a little mask so she's she's lighter she, the 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 painting doesn't come through the tissue paper but i like what you did with the pigment stick so maybe that's i that's think that yeah i think that um if you take like a white or even like a, yeah like an off white a cream and right. you're kind of just Okay. You, it's almost going to be it's going to be challenging because you're going to need to paint her as if you're you know painting her you know what i mean yeah so but i'll try it because the way it is now it's it's too dark i mean even what i showed you that she's lighter so yeah and you're lighting her up even more well okay. i'm actually painting with see this white over here i'm actually using this this white mm -hmm. this like white so this could even be like a neutral white like that unbleached mm -hmm. white or white and gray mm -hmm. um okay. and then you know your you know darker color to kind of just and i think if you just make something so the thing for me like when i went to the encaustic conference like mm -hmm. this type of like washy because of the nature of the wax a lot of people get this like mixed gradient feel or this water looking wax technique mm -hmm. and I like that fine but I also just need something sharp there I need something like uh realistic to kind of balance out all the washiness so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. whether you draw it or paint it or you take that same image right and you somehow embed her top half in there so that she's like half real half half dream you know what I mean Oh, so I didn't have to make her skirt like in Photoshop. I could have just painted a skirt afterwards. Well, yeah, absolutely. You could have painted her skirt. But I like the quality that the skirt has. I mean, I think it's beautiful. It definitely looks like she's coming out of the water or up from the water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the colors are beautiful. I mean, I would maybe get rid of this thing. Just oh, that. Yeah, that's I would just like blend that. So it looks more because that's your horizon line right here is your horizon line. Mm. You know, the other thing and, and you can see on this one, see the texture. Look at the lower left. I was like having trouble scraping, you know, like I'm, I'm yeah, you can see how much <laughs> I, I couldn't get it smooth because it's supposed to be a thin layer of wax and it's really uh -huh. for me to smooth all that out. Yeah, no, it's something. It's just a challenge for me. So well, much. again, remember your, you know, you can sc scrape a little, fuse a little, you know, scrape a little, okay. fuse a little, and then if you're getting these little red like, nicky things, you know, scrape it to the thickness that you want, and then just lightly fuse it so that the scraping um, marks should just vanish. I'm hoping, yeah, because those ridges, um, yeah, I, I try and smooth them out. But it's I mean, still, I don't mind the ridges in here because they're actually adding like interesting, it's like water splashes. But down yeah. here, I feel like they should get smoothed out. You could just too add more encaustic wax medium down here, 
mm -hmm. go over those scratch marks, you know, just in a clear coat. Yeah. Okay. Cause that'll just give you, you know, it'll just give you like a sort of a heat. It won't, it won't hurt the color. You could actually enhance the color on top of that too. With okay. uh, I mean, I think this piece is lovely. I think it's an interesting combination. I mean, too, you can like, again, like I would probably take this corner, you know, add more wax and then continue yeah. this brown, right. you know, I would maybe add yeah. blue, a little more blue out to there. Mm -hmm. So and this was just a test thing. It was a five yeah. by seven. I, so I, I feel like I learned a lot. And then you're yeah. teaching me more about how I can refine it. Um, yeah. But it's just getting used to working with the tissue paper. Um, yeah. I know it's fragile and it's like, it's once it touches the wax, it's like in there, you know, it's like, it's, um, yeah. And what does it look like? Like, what are your intentions? What do you want it to look like? And how does it work? How do you print it? All of those things. Yeah. And I put things down in pieces. I don't ever try to put anything too big down. I mean, well, I this is this was just a five by seven. So it was, no, right. Yeah, but yeah, I would definitely do tile tiling. Is that what you call it? So, yeah, seg segments. Mm -hmm. Segments or yeah, I think this is a lovely piece. I'm gonna save this. Yeah, lovely. I mean, it has all of your you know, feminine, it has all of the qualities of your work. And it's, it's yeah. softer, like it's soft. It's like um, the other one with the music notes. The music, I know, like, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm into, I really like movement. And I thought, well, let me get back into some of the movement pieces. Yeah, I mean, you could play around too with this. And what if you put another copy, you know, if she, if there was another her, like you know the same picture but there was another you could practice that too you know like there's okay okay maybe a different size or you know just really same size or slightly bigger because she's moving mm -hmm. closer to you and further i mean yeah you can play mm -hmm. around with it okay great yeah i mean so that, that was that was fun so the next one um uh, well i put it in just to show you what i'm I'm just wow. playing around. Okay, so this is like two jelly play monotones, you know, like learning how to, you know, work them together. And then I knew that I didn't want all that busyness on her face. Mm -hmm. So I pull, the cafe says something about you can do the two, but you can pull one off, you know, okay. to feel something even more underneath. So I just pull them both off. I, I, I cut it, I incised, and I just pulled, <laughs> pulled it off. Okay. Um, so I, so that was kind of a learning, just, just the technique of that. And the other thing, the other thing I'm thinking I would do is, um, you know, I put areas where I pulled off, I put some other um, tissue paper down, and I can see the line. So I think I'd put pigment stick, stick over the. Now is this fabric in the picture or did you make that? That's so pretty. That, okay, so it's a dancer in the water with okay. silk. So that's her. Okay. All gray, that, that's her. So then, I, again, yeah. I'm gonna be the, like, yeah. I'm gonna be the realist person here. Okay. Be like, um, I love, so you've got sharp and blurry, mm -hmm. right? And then you've got, I'm just wondering about her body torso line, like, oh wait, hang on, I'm gonna go to Photoshop. So I feel like you need to do something here, like where she starts to disintegrate, there needs to be some, and this could be like we've done before, like a simple, the horizon line can be here, right? And I would probably pick would you pick a blue, do you think, for the, you have blue up here, but what do you think, what is she coming out of, is it like? Well, so it's water, she's coming out of a pool, water, okay. green, well, it could be blue. Blue, yeah. well, green, we can do green, we have a lot of blue already, you want to do a, a, yeah, let's do that. A tealy green, you like this color. Yeah, I love the teal green, yeah. I mean, I do think then too, you could just, I think like here, there has to be some, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where, and it doesn't have to go all the way. Like, wait, let's just go to here. Hmm. Again, this can just be like 
just showing where she's coming up out of it. Well, yeah, and it's kind of like where you said this got all wrinkly too. So like, right. like make it go away, you know? Yeah. And it doesn't have to be, it's, if you want to stay abstract, look, it could be really super abstract. It can be like that, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And also that color, like, and you could add a little bit of that color somewhere. I mean, that color. Yeah, yeah that color really pops it. It's nice. But yeah. it kind of fixes that whole bottom part. Mm -hmm. And it, it kind of creates like an above and below mm -hmm. line of, you know, her chest. And then like, you don't have to worry about the rest of her body because it's lost in this abstraction. That's what you do. Yeah. Cool. And then this can go. This color can go behind, you know, just if you go behind this blue instead of over it, that's kind of interesting too, because then that pushes this blue thing as a solid. And then yeah. the yeah. water is going behind this almost like a pillar, right? So these kind of in front and behind mm -hmm. ideas are pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. It is. You know? you know, when I was doing the jelly plate, I had a, you know, one set of that set you uh -huh. know these i have a lot of that green that you put in okay uh, but i like it better as pigment stick because there's already so much pattern going on i just yeah. like it. and i mean it can be an abstract form it doesn't have to be um, mm -hmm. you know it can be like a scribble line it doesn't have to be you know representational of anything mm -hmm. it can just be like a gesture you know, that's why, that's why it's always nice for people like me who want to be too literal. Like I consider myself just always being too literal. So it's nice for me when I look at people who do just like that mark making type of painting, you know, that they just don't, I don't know. I'm always jealous because I'm like, how do they just get away with, just, <laughs> how do they justify that? Like, how do they, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, why did they put that in? But I love it, but I love it. I'm like, can you do, oh, do, I wish I could do that. Like, can you do more of that? Like, oh my God. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, uh, yeah. entitlement, God damn it, entitlement. Right, so, <laughs> I mean, I do what I do. They, and I like, I lo I wish I could do that. But um, I think that's a, the right color too. I mean, I wouldn't put any color that's darker in there. Mm -hmm. And I think that that works with the composition. And I, I wouldn't try to, oh, again, I wouldn't try to over -liter literate it, right? Mm -hmm. Let it be its own little thing. It has so many interesting, like, textures. And, like, these yellow things to me are, like, leaves, you know, and clouds. I mean, it's pretty. Just fix it's, it. You know, I've, I've never done abstract stuff. But I just thought, you know, I just want to loosen up. And no, this is lovely. And just try, you know. And I feel like you could do it with encaustic and it could be even heavier. Like, mm -hmm. let's just see for one second if we make the opacity, like this was, this is, this lighter opacity suggests that I did that with a pigment stick. But if I go heavier, that would suggest I did it with like encaustic wax. What would oh, I see what you're doing. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I could put it yeah, like that over to really make it opaque. I mean, something like that. And then you can put it on and break it up, you know? I oh, mean, I, I like the other, I like the other way better. I, I like what you did the first time. I honestly like both. I, I mean, I could see why you like the other one better, but I mean, and this one could be, worked, this one could be worked a little bit by adding, you know, if you wow. go to, then you have to, you could add, you know, a little, that's wow. the right color, but you know, you can add. Yeah, yeah. The magenta, yeah. All right. I mean, <sighs> wow. Right. So that again emphasizes sort of that, just the over, you know, the weaving. And the thing about the encaustic too is it's it's like God can drive you crazy because you're like, oh, I could do it again. Like I get, oh, I could. When do I stop? Like when's it? <laughs> right, exactly. I mean, in either way, you had pictures of both, right? Yeah. So I have I have a question because I. After I put the third thing down, the dancer, okay, so uh -huh. there's three layers uh -huh. and I have very, well, not so thin, but I, I, and then I put it over the top of her and then I scrape to try and even it out. And um, I don't know, I just, it's just hard for me to scrape it so it's really smooth. So that's something I just have to keep practicing, I think. Well, I bought, did you see, you follow me on Instagram? I bought that big scraper. Did you see that? I bought, yeah, I've got, I, I did get one also. 
Um, Did you try it? Not on these pieces. Maybe Is I should. Pretty small. Are they too small? Um, they're pretty small. Yeah. And I think also that I would look at it and say, oh, there's just this one area over here that's, you know, bumpy. I'll work on that. But I probably should have just taken the whole thing. Okay, I'll go back to that scraper. You can try that scraper. Um, I think that the little razor blades are hard. Those are really hard for me. But do I you do feel like, look how pretty these two are. I mean, they're so, look at this one. Look at, they're I really like the, pretty. Like the they're really pretty. I just, I feel it's more expressing, you know, what I love, the movement and the- Yeah, they're so feminine. They're really beautiful. And the color palette is really nice. I, I'm excited to see what you do with this one. Um, one of two suggestions that I have with yeah. um, two suggestions that I have for scraping. I think first, my I'm suspect because I've only I wish I've worked with you more in person, but um, I'm suspect that you're not putting enough wax on to scrape. Okay. I, I think that you think you are, but mm. I think your wax is maybe too thin. And that's why you're having trouble scraping it because you don't actually have enough to scrape it. I think with these, that's exactly right. Because, uh, you know, the way she was teaching it is a very thin layer and I'm trying to do a thin layer and it's not. Oh, right, so, yeah. right, but, so that, but, okay. So doing the thin layers is, is a technique that takes time and energy and practice, right? Mm -hmm. So getting that thin layer to go on correctly is challenging. Mm -hmm. and putting it on thicker and scraping it back is also challenging, right? So it's six of one, half dozen of the other. Like it should kind of even out in the middle somewhere. But I, I do think if you're getting like all those little nicks, you know, that you're maybe don't have, the wax isn't thick enough to scrape. Yeah, right, okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, again, as far as getting a nice smooth thin layer, you know, the bigger the brush, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. maybe a little bit hotter the wax also preheat the panel okay right so those are sort of some of the things that help the the wax you know because the thing is is you have to remember it's like coming out of its nice little warm pot it's hitting the panel and it's going like ah! I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah so okay so if the panel is hot with the heat gun before you do that that'll keep it so it's like oh I like this I'm just going to roll. Right. And then also remember your arm. Remember your arm. Right. Um, no, you're not, you're not pushing. Think about roller, think about hovercraft, right? Like okay. think about not gritty, not like sandpaper. Think mm -hmm. about floating over the surface of the panel with the brush so that the hockey, so that there's actually no pressure okay. on the bristles on the panel that they're like, skimming it. They're not going into it and trying to move through it. They're just like, so that the brush, like think about the wax being in between the pan on the end of the bristles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you're just pushing Skin. the wax. Oh. Yeah. yeah, because that might be part of your problem too, is if you're putting too much pressure on the brush, you're That's actually right. stopping yeah. the flow, mm -hmm. then letting it flow. Got it. it. It sounds sort of like uh, what the Chinese brush painting. I mean, the technique has to be, yeah. Okay, well, I, I have a new, I have a new, I have an RT, like I have an AmeriCorps like teaching artist and we did ink with, and we got these cheap like calligraphy tips. Mm -hmm. She could, I was so jealous. Like she could p draw with those. I was like, get me a free get the paintbrush over here right now. Like I couldn't get the ink to flow through the thing. I was just like, I had no <laughs> patience for it. I was like literally scratching a hole in my paper. I had no, I, I was like, how did you, whatever. I was like, get me a paintbrush because with the paintbrush, I knew I could, I could see it. I could see the ink going down yeah. the pencils. I could yeah. get the flow. And then when I ran out, I could continue it because I had a blob. Like I got that. It, it is a really a thing, you know, it is a thing, the connection and the pressure and the temperature, right? And the, well, and also the hand position. Yeah, the arm, right, the angle, oh. right, slow your elbow, and my dad, that's what my dad says, slow your elbow. <laughs> okay, I've got but the- He little... was a violinist, right? So he was a violinist. So that's, oh, so- yeah. So you have so, to- 
So mm -hmm. they have to have this totally, they have to have, they can't be putting pressure unless they're making a certain type of note. There really right. can't be any pressure of the bow actually on the string. It has to be fluid. That's a really good way to explain it. Cause I, yeah, I told you I was playing violin, you know, for a long time. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So you got that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Go back to that. Okay, I'll try yeah. it. All right. All right. I'll send you this video, and it was great to see you. It's good to see you. Yeah. We'll okay. Catch up. See you, and um, yeah, nice to catch up. And um, let me know when you want to meet again. Okay, it's probably I'll probably want to do after Thanksgiving, but that'd be That's great. That's fine. Great. Sounds yeah. good. Okay. Bye. 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 Beautiful work as always.